Hiya folks and friends, I'm The Fringe and welcome to a game called The Story of Henry Bishop. Now this Henry Bishop guy supposedly is just sort of like meandering and gets involved in some spooks and some scares. I don't really know anything about it or that much about the game but it looks like it's full of spooked. It's brand new on Steam and it looks pretty interesting so I thought I'd give it a go. So if at any point you decide to like this video be sure to subscribe to become a friend of The Fringe. Let's go! Right, okay, so this is us, and it looks like we're waking up on the floor again, as usual. This tends to be a trend lately, where we're just waking up on floors, and there's a creepy woman with a knife hanging about. And that's completely normal, in terms of this channel. That's just sort of like your typical day, you know what I mean? Everything is going fine. Waking up with weird, creepy people, everything's fine. We know how to play. I don't need that. I'm all about this. So let's have a meander and find the creepy lady. Oh, shit. A millennial. I'm not about that. Oh, he's creepy. Creepy little children, man. I'm not about it. Boy, how did you get to this place? How did you get to this place? What are you doing? No, just walk off. I'd definitely walk off at this point. I'm not for saving the child. The blood on the hands gives it away. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to call him Jim. That's Jim. Professor Ch Creepy Jim. Not a professor, because he's a child. Do we have a flashlight? Bam! I'm going to be using this a lot. That's locked. Oh, Teddy! Oh, I forgot, I forgot the voice for Teddy. We're not doing Teddy. Teddy's dead. That's the law behind Teddy. Call a good boy, go. Okay, Coco. Everything. Chunky Dory. I imagine we can hide in that wardrobe. Which I'm about to sense. Oh, hello. Whoop. There we go. Oh! Oh, I sense foul play. Let me out, please. No. Is this the game glitching, or is it just playing, playing tricks on me? So I imagine we're going down the creepy dark staircase, which I'm all about, to be totally honest. As long as, oh, no, 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 no. Something bad happened to him. And if you stare at him too long, everything gets blurry because you start to feel violently sick, which is pretty normal, to be fair, because looking at this wallpaper, I want to be sick, you know what I mean? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be playing those games with me. I'm not about this one, Tony. Oh, it's a rat. It's okay. Can we open this one? No. I feel like we should be on the lookout for stuff and things because this feels like a stuff and things game. Do you know what I mean? Oh, this is eerie creeper. That looks openable. What's the sitch here? Open, please. Oh, a key in with the severed heads. I'll take that, please. Apparently, these were all triplets. Whoever's Whatever's gone on here, the little weird demon child has killed triplets, which I find vaguely upsetting, to be honest. Can we hide in here? I don't think that we can, but that's fine. You know, everything's okay. As long as at some point we can hide when all the creepy demons turn up. That's all I care about. Ah, okay, radio. Uh, don't really need that, to be totally honest. We won't worry about the radio. What's over here? Oh, uh, Joshua Peterson. Oh, his name's not Jim. It's J It's Joshua Peterson. Did I even say that I was going to call him Jim? I just decided in my head that his name was Jim. He's still Jim to me. On the 27th of September, he left home, and up to the present moment, his whereabouts are unknown. Anyone who can report any information, please call the number. Okay, okay. well, we can safely say that Joshua slash Jim is now dead. What's this? A gramophone tape arm. Okay, so I imagine that's going to come in useful at some point. Is there anything in here? No, that looks fairly normal. Everything's okie dokie, funky dory. So I think there was a gramophone upstairs. So, oh no 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 no! Jim, get off! Jim, 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 Jim! Run, 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 run! What is creepy? Is I'm not about it. Whoa, leave me big! I do need to hide. There was a wardrobe upstairs. I'm going straight for that. Jim, man, all eating at my arm and stuff. You know what I mean? Got to watch the kids these days. Oh, lag, 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 doesn't like it. Okay, this this, this will be good. I can hide in here, I think. Oh, peaky, peaky. Oh, not about that. Not about that one tiny little smidgen of a tiny of a bit, if you catch my drift. I didn't even get to see whether the key worked on the drawer downstairs, which is upsetting. But uh, I think Jim might be gone now. Okay, Jim. That's good. We won't worry about Jim. Everything's super happy fun time, I think. We could try the key in here, because we did have Locked. this golden key. Locked. Boom! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Keys and things, we're good at keys. Okay. A vinyl. What we're going to do is play some smooth jazz, because the millennials hate smooth jazz. Because we've got the gramophone arm. We've just got to remember where the gramophone is. And then, uh, yeah, millennials hate smooth jazz. That's what we're going to do. We've just got to watch out for him. Oh, no, 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 no. Here he is. Oh, Mr. Creepy Pants. I'm going to run this way. Because there was, I believe, a thing in my bob down here where we can hide another wardrobe. And then when he comes down, we just lunge out and we're gone. We're solid gone. Creepy Jim is no more. Creepy Jim is 
uh, gonna have to do some homework or something. Okay, shut that. We've got time. We'll just wait for him to come down, you know, we'll have a relax, we'll have a chill. Everything is going to be super happy fun time, most likely. But not necessarily, but potentially. I could potentially just give him the run around, actually, because he might be down here now. I could just wait for him and then just, you know, run. Yeah, come on. Creepy Jim. Creepy Jim. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh he's, he's bitey. He's a biter. We're not about that. Keep running. We're going to put all the gramophone stuff on the gramophone nurse. And then, I don't know what that's going to do. As I say, smooth jazz. Millennials hate smooth jazz. And then presu uh, presumably that's going to unlock something or do a thing. Uh, that can go there. Uh, disc now. Boom, cutscene. He can't attack us while there's a cutscene, which is good. I will tell you my horrible story. This story happened to me in the late 70s. And in the most terrible nightmare, we'll see only echoes of horror. In comparison with those mysterious events, which if anything, Henry's looking for it. He did I go to the creepy house, to be honest. State agent, and we had an old mansion in the Maine, which no one could sell. It was a dead weight in our company, as a stale product on the store shelf, which was losing its value every day. After all, houses also have a shelf life. And then he looks like a very serious morning, guy. The silence of our office on the Fifth Avenue was broken by a telephone call. That call changed my whole life. He has such a weird Mr. accent as well. Johnson, a very strange client was willing to seize this old junk called house. And even the fact that a family of five people disappeared in this house did not frighten him. But on a contrary, it was the reason for such a strange purchase. After a brief conversation, my boss decided to send me to Stonebridge, to this provincial hall in Maine. My task was to inspect Okay, so this is a different house by the looks of things. Or we're just regressing. Hard, and then to contact the client for a deal. My name is Henry Bishop. I will tell you my horrible story. Okay. This looks like it's going to be all sorts of interesting. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how long this game is. But as I say, so far, it's actually pretty good. Uh... Flashy, flashy, no working. Oh, I'm glad that's working because that's all the bad. Right, okay, so this is quite an open space. So we're going to have a meander, get ourselves together, work out what's what before we approach the creepy house. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the creepy woman from the start. Why am I trying to unlock it? Door, door is locked. The key, might the key be is the most house. likely in the house. Let's establish it's definitely in the house. But, uh, I don't know. Let's have a meander first. Walk straight up to the house. See whether the door is open. Chances are it's not because this is a horror game. Oh, hello and note. Dear Mr. Bishop, the wiring in this old house is not reliable, so I reassured and turned off the electricity. All you need is to find a switchboard and follow my instructions. Three starlings flew towards the light, the first below, the second above, and the third in the middle. Darkness comes there where the light is turned on. Okay, so I've, I've just taken that note. Why couldn't he just tell me how to work the switchboard rather than, you know, uh, giving me a riddle because I'm not entirely sure about that. Is that an axe? I want that. Oh, it's just something clipping through. Oh, hello. Do I want to speak to her? Ma'am, what are you doing here? It is a private property. Would you see someone who looks like that and just talk to them like that? Who locked you up? My master. It's all his fault. Master. I will find the key oh no 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 no! We, uh, we don't want to set her free. If that's the premise, we definitely don't want to set her free. I mean, let's take a moment to just look at her. We're not setting her free. I'm definitely not about that. Not one tiny little smidgen of a tiny of a bit. If you catch my drift. So the door doesn't open, and we've got to find a switchboard to be able to open it. So I imagine it's around here somewhere. And then I'll have to take a second glance at the note to try and work out, you know, what 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 the stitch is. Here we go. This is what I'm all about danger high voltage I need to look at the note okay so the first below the second above and the third in the middle the first uh, let's have a look first below and that in the middle boom there we go straight away it wasn't really a riddle it was pretty simple to be honest but you know normal instructions I'm all about that riddles not so much about I'm walking into a tree pro game a moment walking into a tree I'm assuming this will open now Key okay, because I mean I've got a key. Yeah, I do have the key. Oh, I had the key all along. I could have just walked in, but I'd have had no power if I did walk in, which is vaguely upsetting. 
but you know it's not the end of the world okay okay so this is a little bit more open seems like there's a little bit more going on here photo telephone we just need to have a meander as we always do get our bearings someone's had a nice glass of wine by the looks of things a body has been found in fur lake fisherman billy's body has been found today in the morning near fur lake according to the preliminary blah, 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 preliminary information billy was strangled then his body was thrown into the water the sheriff rejected to comment on this brutal murder stating that the perpetrator would certainly be found and get the punishment he deserved we all mourn for billy to some people he was just an acquaintance to other he was a friend anyway he did not deserve such a terrible fate there have never been such tragic events in our small town before in this hard time we and then it carries on to the next page okay go okay. who's billy billy's dead not about billy billy is probably another weird ghost child right now i forgot that we've got a flashlight that we're not using we need to invest in that that's an olympic trophy i'm all about that okay weird piano that's also cool there has to be something in one of these books there's always something creepy in a book and then when you've got it you know it does stuff and things i'm getting all stuck here there's too many things to walk into did this open this is another room okay creepy creepy room all about that i love a creepy room mate what's in here pot oh little key take that little key it looks important open this oh weird like wizardy demon staff thing I can't take that, apparently. We can get weapons in this at some point, but I haven't seen any. Seven-year-old Alicia Nelson became the victim of the fire. The tragedy happened on the 5th of September at 12.30pm, according to the prelimin prelim <laughs> preliminary data. A fire in the Nelson house broke out as a result of a children's prank. A game with fire took the life of a seven-year-old Alicia Nelson. Her ten-year-old brother Robert got minor burns and was taken to St. Unman's Hospital, Okikoke. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? But, you know, we've got a little key and that's all that matters. And that's a safe. We obviously don't have the combination, so there's no point in even looking at that yet, but I imagine at some point it will become prevalent and we will use it for something, I imagine, at some point. But was there something else there? I feel like we've got to keep an eye out to not miss things feels like that sort of game where if you miss something that's it game over because that looks important but i don't think we actually need it but you know we're going to move on as we do see what else is what else the doors are the freakiest thing about this game the doors just don't want to side with you not one tiny little smidgen of a tiny of a bit if you catch my drift so into the kitchen we go kitchens are always creepy i've never played a game where they aren't creepy oh hello she's rather attractive just sort of casually pointing that out. She looked like a real person. Uh, nothing in cupboard number one. If anything, these cupboards are very disused. There's always dirty kitchens in horror games. People need to clean their kitchens. I don't care if you are a horrible demon. You should have a clean kitchen, you know what I mean? It's jammed. I need to pry Okay, so that's jammed. We need to get into it. It's always the one that you can't get to that you need, I'm assuming. So at some point, there should be a thing that we can use to pry. Personally, I'd just try and kick it in, if I'm completely honest, but, you know, you can't have everything. What's this? This room looks bad. Pillow? Move the pillow. Oh, a knife. Boom. I don't know whether we can weaponize that. Can we weaponize it? No, apparently we can't weaponize it, but maybe we can use it to uncram the thing in my bob, you know what I mean? To uh, open the drawer. Oh, hello. That's not doing anything. Holy Bible doesn't look useful oh we can try the little key let's go little key boom little key opens the chest we're doing well we haven't missed anything so far i don't think anyway because missing things is all the bad uh what's next okay so you can open it oh that's a novel i don't think that's getting read it's got pages and pages and pages this is definitely not getting read i like to read most things but this looks like a literal 20 minute read if you want to read it for yourself then you can pause it obviously and you'll be able to read it but uh i'm not reading that i'm not about it not one tiny little smidgen of a bit to be totally honest okay but we've got that book it seems a little bit of relevant though that book to be totally honest unless it was trying to tell us something that i didn't know but we've got the knife now so presumably we can oh it's just those things i thought i saw loads of things flagging up but i was like what's going on uh boom it's about that i'm as i say i'm pretty sure i could just keep What's that noise? Oh, take the plunger. I'm not about that. That's creepy. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. It's that creepy kid again. What's it doing? Can I even open this? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got to open it, haven't I? Uh, 
Oh no 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 Where's he going? Let's not go the way that he went. Let's go the opposite. Let's go upstairs. I'm going upstairs. I don't want to be dealing with him. He's all the bad. Definitely all the bad. Let's go this way. Oh, creepy bathroom. And we have a plunger. Which I, <laughs> I imagine is for this. Let's uh, plunge this, shall we? Because you know that's, that's exactly what the game wants us to do. It wants us to be all plungy and stuff. Take the ninja death star that's casually there. Okay, who's flushing ninja death stars down the toilet? You know what I mean? I can't see a reason for that. Not one tiny little bit of a reason. But, you know, it's okay. I'm trying to play it carefully because it's got to the point now where I'm thinking maybe there could be something creepy somewhere. I'm exploring the rest of the rooms first because there's definitely something creepy in there. Ah, there's another record player. Which means something is going to come after us and we need to use the record player again. I imagine. See, playing it tactically. I reckon it's in that room because there's a creepy doll in there. I don't want to be chased yet. I want to play it. a shovel. Okay. Boom. What are we going to be doing with a shovel? I don't see why we can't weaponize a shovel as well because you'd think you would be able to, wouldn't you? That doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. Okay, anything in here? No. Nope. Anything in any of these? Nope. That's a hidey hole. So we are going to get chased at some point. We can definitely assume that we're getting chased, but I don't want to miss anything because otherwise I'm finding things whilst I'm getting chased rather than finding things when I'm not getting chased. Do you know what I mean? This looks creepy. Okay, okay, okay. I get the feeling that these might be part of the code for the safe somehow. No, because they're not laid out in any order. So it doesn't really make sense. Okay, we don't need the little train. I need to scratch my, my top lip. It's very itchy. Oh, there we go. That's the box. The chest is locked. That thing we've got is a key. It's not a ninja death star. I thought it was a key. Okay, go, okay. What's in here? Creepy drawing. Oh, and it's telling us where to dig. Okay, so we've got a we've got to dig somewhere, I imagine. And find whatever that is. Okay. So I am going to go into the creepy room and then I'm going to go out and dig because we've been in every room now. So I'm going to go in here and I'm willing to bet that we get chased by something because it does feel like that. Yeah, there's something demonic in here. You can hear it. Creepy clothes. It sounds like the Gungans from uh, Star Wars. I don't like it. Okay, we'll go to the creepy doll first. The doll seems to be watching me. That's not good. Okay, we'll go to this. No, 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 no. I knew I was going to get chased. I didn't expect it to be like that. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Let me out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got to get out of here. Run, 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 run. Uh, straight to the door because we've got the shovel so we can get out. Uh, let me out. Okay, I think everything's good now. I think we're fine. Well, probably not, actually. We're probably still getting chased, but outside. But, uh... He was different, you know what I mean? He was all the creeps and spooks he was. But, you know, everything's fine now. I, think. I don't think he's coming back. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? What is that doing? Damn. That's all the bad. Is he a boss fight or something? Because I don't think my shovel's quite going to cut it, to be honest. I hope he goes away rather quickly. I'm starting to die. I'm going to go and dig over here where they told me to dig. Let me, let me dig there. Dig, please. There we go. Okay. I thought he was going to come back and like flamethrower me to death or something. I don't know what we're digging for. I imagine there's something that we're digging for. I think everything's fine. What have we got though? This hasn't made much sense yet. I've been watching my father and I know his secret access code. Now I'm definitely checking what kind of treasures are in his safe box. Uh, okay. I, I think I know exactly what that is, to be honest. I'm pretty sure that um, the colours correspond to the colours on the blocks. Because I was thinking that earlier anyway, that there's something to do with the blocks. So, presumably we need to go and look at the colours and then work out the code to get into the safe. But we've got demon features in here, haven't we? That's all up in our grill, and I'm not sure about that. Right, okay, so we've got to be very careful not to trigger Mr. Creepy Pants because I imagine he's around here somewhere. So we need to get to the blocks, which I think were upstairs. Were the blocks upstairs? I'm pretty sure that there were. I don't remember, actually. That was the room that we didn't want to go in, wasn't it? That's not the room where... Oh! This was the room. So we need to look at the colours. 
I need to use my flashlight as well. I imagine he's around. Okay, so I need to look at... I need to look at this. So it's blue, purple, light green, dark green. Blue. So four, five... It's either four five two three or four five three two. Four five two there we go. Four five two three. Boom. So we've got a diary. That's another novel. I can't be reading this. That's very, very, very long. It would take me a week to read through this entire thing, but I'll flick through the end of the pages so that you can pause it if you wanted to. Okay, go okay. And a key. Rusty key, it might have been used outside of the house. Okay, so now we're gonna go and let that creepy woman out, which I'm not so sure about, to be totally honest. I don't think I want to let her out, but I imagine I'm going to have to. And Creepy McGee didn't run into us, which is good. Okay, okay, okay. Is that weird creepy demon guy still about? Whenever we're out here, we seem to get hurt a little bit, which is weird. I don't know if it's because I'm close to the fire or something, but it seems to hurt us a little bit. Oh, I don't need to be this side, do I? I need to be the other side. I am getting hurt, I don't understand why there's blood. Uh, Door is locked. There we go. The I don't want to open this. What, why am I trying to speak to her? Oh, she's not in there. This is bad. This is all the bad. Turn the flashlight on. Oh, the brilliant. Okay, locked. so where do I get into the chest? Oh, that's bad. It's going to be in the skull, isn't it? I'm going to stick this in a voice. Uh, examine. Quit. Okay. Good to know that she's got a skull in a voice. That's always a woman that you want to save. You know what I mean? Crowbar. I'll take that. Okay, so is this a weapon? No, how is a crowbar not a weapon? And where would I use it? Where would you use a crowbar? Oh, uh, the chest, of course. Okay. That was such a stupid question. Okay, so now we've got this disc. What? What is that? Run! Oh, damn. <laughs> this is bad. Uh, little weird spider things. I'm not about it, personally. Quick, 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 quick. Let me in. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm getting attacked whilst the loading screen's on. I can hear them. Okay, straight up the stairs. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Oh, it wasn't. It wasn't there. Where was it? It was one of these doors. It was definitely one of these doors. Not that one. I swear it was upstairs as well. There it is. Okay, cool. Hopefully, this leads us somewhere else. Boom. I don't feel entirely safe now, to be honest. Oh, I thought there was something in my peripheral vision then, but it's just me. Oh, that's all the bad. Oh, I, th I, I thought I was playing, but I'm not playing. If she just went and killed us, how can we tell our story? Does that make sense? Is that the end? Are we telling the story from beyond the grave? I, I'm so confused. Okay, so I'm waking up on the floor again. Oh, this is how the game started. So we played it backwards. Does this mean I need to play it again? Or is the game just reset? I don't know. No, it's different. Let's see what the sitch is in here then. Have a little meander, you know. Weird, creepy child is in here. That's a children's toy that we don't seem to need, which is okay. And there's someone dead in the wardrobe. This place has definitely changed. I'm not sure how I feel about it. And there's a hanging doll. I'm not a fan of this kid. I've got to point out. He's not the nicest of people. But, uh, you know, okay, moving onwards. The house is still creepy, you know. Things have moved about a bit. But, you know, same premise, same creepiness. Okay. The dead guy's not here now, though, so that's good. How can I get out of this place? How can you get out of this place? I don't know. How are we going to get out of this place? No, I'm really confused. Oh, no, 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 no. I get a feeling that potentially I've got a lot of lag. <laughs> no, that's not the feeling. I get the feeling we might never get out of this place. I don't know whether to... Oh, what are you? This feels like an ending to me. I feel like I'm gonna to have to run or something. One of the mana queens has no. We gotta go and find some arms. 
and then something bad happens. Okay, I'm okay with that. Let's find some arms. There's an arm in there. Can I not have that arm? That's an arm. Oh, it's just a head. Okay. Can I have... Oh, a hammer. Okay, I'll take the hammer. Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. That's good. Can I brandish the hammer? I thought I might be able to take, you know, an arm or something. Oh, and there's health. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take that. Right, okay, guys. So I've been recording for quite a while now. So I think I'm going to leave this here. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a part two of this. I'm not sure how far away we are from the end. I imagine it can't be that far. Actually, saying that, in the game, there's about four different weapons and we've only found one. So presumably, there's quite a lot left. So I might do this in episodes, assuming I get some comments below letting me know whether you liked it or not. So all that being said, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe. And please be sure to leave me a comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.